Yeah, like the auto is the only thing doing damage. Okay, see, that's what I mean right there. <laughs> How is it going? Boys, girls, darbles, darblets, welcome back to another ranked 1v1 duel video, and today we are locking a game of Sir Cat. Hard locking a game of Sir Cat. What is this skin? This is. I just have stuff, okay? You know? When you're me, you just get things, okay? You, you get pretty privileged. When see that guy, that guy in the background. Wait a minute, he actually gets pretty privileged. Wait, wait a minute, my my breath has been taken from my lungs. Me and Achilles both relate because we just get stuff, you know, just like this Cirquet skin. Where did this come from? Why do I have this? I don't know, but we're playing Cirquet, who I consider to be a very high tier A god, goddess. She is. Outside of her wave clear, she's incredible. So if you can't um, punish her and her wave clear, uh, I'm gonna change these abilities. I don't know the one or the two. I'll keep that unlisted. Uh, but going to pause menu on Xbox, there's a bug right now that sometimes when you use the uh, joystick to unpause, it'll just surrender. Uh, technically, you can't surrender right now, but it's just a good habit to have because I've kind of lost two games due to that bug. But um, Sir Cat is a high A tier goddess outside of the fact that she has bad wave clear. Uh, she can one shot you no matter how much defense you build, no matter what god you are. From my experience of her so far, I've seen like a dozen Sir Cat games. I've played one. I've played against a few Sir Cats. She can just kind of kill you, especially if you're a squishy. She really. She wants to play into gods that need to aim to hit her and aren't too tanky. Uh, Kabrakin is the exact opposite of that. He can hit me no matter what, and he's incredibly tanky, so this is not really the ideal matchup, but... Surely Sir Cat's so good that it doesn't matter. Uh, this could be a really bad matchup, I imagine, if he can hit me out of my 1 or 3. Well, he can definitely hit me out of my 3. If he can hit me out of my... wait... Okay, I just juke that shit out of him. If he can hit me out of my 2, my 3, and my 1, this might be a really bad matchup. I'm just gonna hit him. Okay, he had 0 mana, but I guess he gained just enough. Uh, that's a lot of really good pressure there. He's trying to get him to uh, take minion aggro so I can 2 him, but he's kind of just too close to it now. Yeah. I don't know what this guy's doing. This guy's the guy that backed away. What did he do? Was it the last video? What's this guy's name? I don't remember. In a past video, this guy did something scummy. So we're going to drop him a little laugh there. This could be a really bad matchup, though. Because your goal in Sir Ket is to one-shot them. And if you can't one-shot them, do a lot of damage and get out without being hit. If they can stop you by hitting you, we're going to alternate. I'm gonna run away a bit, make him chase me. Um, if they can knock you out of your abilities, I'll say, like, your three is, if you use your three poorly, you can get knocked out of it consistently in a lot of matchups. But if he can hit me out of my one and my two as well, because my two is a taunt and he can swing while I'm taunting him, I think. Maybe that's wrong. Um, this could be a really bad matchup, because late game, he's gonna be tanky enough that it's gonna be hard for me to one shot him, and very easy for him to one shot me. That, that's what I mean right there. Yeah, this could be a bad matchup, actually. Hopefully, we make it work, though. Get him, minions! Get him, minions! What's he doing? Get him! Minions did not get him. Nonetheless, though, if you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to let me know, boys and girls and darbles and darblets, by subscribing, okay? Look at that number. That beautiful, glistening white number down there. 45 of you dumb bitches, okay? Fuck you. For starters, I hate you. To subscribe, I love you, actually. You know, I'm happy you're here. Are you, I hope you're happy I'm here, too. I think I hope you guys were... You woke up today and you're like, man, I can't wait for 10 a.m. Eastern Central Time or Eastern Time. Is this Central? No, I think it's just Eastern. I, I live in live in the right side of the U.S. 
I can't wait for 10. So the new Darby video comes out. Get him! Get him! Get him! Minions! <laughs> I wanted the minions to kill him. Yeah, I'm definitely starting to see the negative aspect of this matchup, though. It might not seem like it just because Elite Dansworm is a really bad player, but um, this could get really rough late game. I imagine. I'm two levels up, though. I'm just kind of running it down. You kind of do that on Sir Cat. There's this um, Sir Cat one trick that's climbing in ranked right now just by running it down. And in like 80% of the matchups, you can actually just run it down and spam abilities and you'll win games because of it. I hope this is not one of those matchups. Or no, I hope this is one of those matchups. That's what I meant to say. I'm going cooldown because I just want to ult every time I can. I don't think he has ult up. I have more cooldown than him, so I should have mine up and he should not have his. I do get um crit's base kit, which is busted. All gods that have crit base kit. I mean technically none of them are really I mean Nasha is considered high A tier, so cat's high A tier. Jingwei's a hunter. Are there any other gods that have crit base kit? There has there has to be a few more. Like Hoi has anti crit and Ymir has something or Geb, I mean not Ymir. Geb has um thirty percent less crit, I think. There's a lot of Good crit passives in in duel. Geb's passive is kind of nuts sometimes. It's not like Hoi's passive where you can only crit him once every three seconds or whatever, but it's solid, you know, it's not bad. I don't know the best way of clearing on Sukep, but I see people clear that way, so that's the way I'm clearing. Get away from those minions! I don't know if I should have beads that or not. I don't think that kills anyways. He has defense. But as you can see, like this is a defense that this is a guardian with defense, and I have no pen. I mean I have like 10 flat pen or whatever, but no serious amount of pen, right? So like Sir Cat's early game is nuts, and she should have a pretty good early, uh, late game as well. But in this matchup, I feel like the late game might not be fully ideal just because he can hit me out of my abilities, and Kabraken's late game is no joke. He can one tap most characters late game. He's kind of like the off-brand version of new Naja. He's like Naja if Naja was tanky and had a little bit better early game. Kind of leading him around. He's just kind of WKing me. Like I have to be a bit safe just because my clear is bad, but we have 30% cooldown so we could do stuff like that and then I don't... Nah. That's what I mean by using it poorly. Yeah. He ulted me and then ran away. He wanted to walk at me so he could show me that he had ult, I guess. I don't know what that was. Well, that's up again. I thought he just used that on the wave, I guess. It's not really his wave clear ability, so I don't fully know why I'd think that way. We'll play it safe and back up. But what if we don't? We have a chalice sticking, okay? If I just go do this, I think he'll let me. Yeah, I don't know, he just kinda let me. He just kinda let me do that. It's not like I even like hid there, like with my invisibility. I just kinda walked over. And he didn't really try to stop me until it was way too late. He's like, wait a minute, he's actually gonna do the buff? Wait a minute. That's not allowed. This asshole did the buff. <laughs> How dare he? Oh god. Oh no, my arthrite is so good. Oh no. I could never move the way Sir Cat moves. She just looks like crazy, doesn't she? It's kind of like the same way with the Nemesis, you know? Like, she's just like a, she's like a stick. Is she supposed to be a snake? Is that why she looks like a stick? So that makes sense if she's meant to look 
like a snake or whatever she is. She just kind of looks crazy. It's like when Nemesis walks, her hip just her hips. Well, don't get me started on Nemesis's hips, but her hips, man, they they they, they, they give me feeling some type of way. The way they <laughs> move so unnaturally. I love it. I love I love that. Am I clear? No, but it's weak. Kind of want to zone him here. I have ult up. We're going to go Hydra's next. Uh, with this build, we'll have 40% pen, a good amount of damage, and a... Or 40% cooldown, a good amount of damage, and some pen. Oh, I'm so I was in the wall! I, got I was in the wall! I should have just turned my camera, man. I don't know why I just tried to... I was like, whoa, please, I need this. Okay, yeah, like, this is, this is, I mean, I didn't play that that well, but, like, he does just as much damage to me as I do to him. I feel like a Bracken has a solid matchup here. I was not, I think I was not wrong for assuming that. I don't know if, uh, Sir Ket's passive or that poison is really important. So, um, I don't know about that. So, you know, before you leave a comment being like, hey, you didn't even use the passive, dumbass. Listen, I don't know what it is, okay? What's the passive? I didn't read it. I ain't reading that right now. That's not what this is about. Damage that dude. That did like a, a third of his HP or a fourth of his HP. Not, not the greatest. I'm surprised that did not stop his back. He's going Typhons next. So I'm probably going to get a beat stick. I did say I was going to get Hydras, but, um... Plans changed. Okay. Oh, God. Is he coming here? He is. I'm down to make him just miss a minion wave here. Yeah, he's missing an entire wave of gold. Yeah, he missed an entire wave of gold, and I did a fourth of his HP. I just can't, like, it, on Sir Cat, you need to hit the autos between the abilities, but I can't because he just stuns me if I do. His matchup is not, like, this is what I mean when I say I get the most weird semi-niche matchups. Like, I just can't auto. If I auto, he, he out-trades me. But I need to auto. Okay, he went Bancroft instead of Typhons, which I do believe is probably the correct play. Why do I keep thinking... Okay. Why do I keep thinking that Kabraken uses his 1 and 2 on the minion wave? Luckily, he is holding the minion wave with his walls over there. He's like, here, buddy. I'll keep this here till you get back. For some reason, I'm like, oh, he's clearing the wave. He used his ability. So then I get hit by the one and two, and I get surprised for a second. Then I'm like, oh, yeah, wait. That's not his wave clear. That's his me clear. And it is, it's clearing me. He is, that is the snake. That is the anti-venom. That's what we call that. You guys want to watch the new Venom movie? Because I do. Why is, he can't, why is he so healthy again? I, I, I'm spamming it, man. I'm spamming it. Why is he out trading me so much? I can't auto him. I can't do it. Marge Simpson, I can't. Doing bull demons, honestly, a idea here. I have crit, so I can clear it relatively fast. But if he comes and I do that, I die. Perfect. But it wouldn't have been a bad uh, choice to go for that. We are going to go Hydros into a Heart Seeker, and I think that's the build. I think that's a very optimal build. I think. I don't know. I don't play this goddess. You saw how many levels I have on her. Thirty-seven. Okay. That did 300 damage to me, man. He has no pen either. Yeah, this is like what I meant when I say I get some really bad niche matchups. So I think I need to auto between my abilities to get value, but I can't. He just stuns me if I do. Because he can stun my 1, 2, and 3. Luckily, he's bad. Like, look at him. What's this guy doing? 
If he wasn't bad, this would be so difficult. But I'm losing like 80% of my character's damage because I can't use it on him. That's what I mean right there. I went for auto attacks and he half helped me. I almost died because I went for auto attacks. But if I don't go for auto attacks, I can't kill him. So I don't really know what to do about that. That is a growing issue that's going to get worse as this game goes along. I think I need some defense. Some double defense to survive a bit longer. I don't know if that's the play or not. But I, I think, like, I don't know what else to do at this point. I can't go Magi's if I go... It's because I need my beads to be able to auto-attack to out-trade him. But if I beads one, he has three, 13 more stuns on my next one. And if I go Magi's, I don't have the damage to kill him. But I guess I'm going double defense, which means I'm not going to have the increased damage to kill him. Yeah, like, the auto is the only thing doing damage. Okay, see, that's what I mean right there. I need to auto, but I can't auto in this matchup. It's crazy. This is what I meant when I said that the, some of my matchups are, like, nichely bad. Because you wouldn't see this matchup and be like, oh, this seems really bad. But then you see the matchup and you're like, wow. Okay, Sir Cat really... It's like, imagine a, a Suzano or a Sukiyomi not autoing, auto attack canceling with abilities. It's kind of like that with Sir Cat, but just get rid of the auto attack or the cancel part. You just need to auto between the abilities because the crits and the damage your autos do is so important when you're a circuit. But I can't in this matchup. Maybe the double defense will win me the game. Maybe. You know, who are you to tell me no? I hope all of you are having a magnificent swell day though. Not gonna lie, these are all, well, not all of them, but a lot of these are pre-recorded on the same day. You can guess which ones are which, but you're not, you're not gonna be right. You'll never know. I could have recorded this video and the on her video back to back. Except for the fact that you could probably debunk that. You know, there's probably a way to debunk that, but I'm not gonna admit it. Even if you get it right, I'm gonna say you're wrong. If I auto there, he hits me, by the way. And if he hits me, I lose 99% of my HP. Okay. Nice. No! I killed myself because I was spam laughing! That's karma. That's karma, you know. That's the second time. I you know, I lost a game trying to be toxic and pausing on Titan once because some guy spam laughed me. And I just died because I tried to spam laugh while hitting his phoenix. Because this guy spam laughed me. And I've died both times. Maybe we're learning something here today. Maybe there's a lesson to be had. He doesn't even have Ben. I mean, he has Tahuti, which has a little bit of pen, I guess. But I'm sure you're starting to understand. It's so bad, too, because he has Thorns, and Thorns does magical damage, and I have double magical defense, so Thorns is like the worst relic for him. I guess not worst. It still gives mitigations and does some amount of damage. I'm in the wall again. Okay. Yeah, see, that's what happens when I go for an auto. If I go for an auto, I lose all of my HP. So I don't really know how I win this matchup without him just ending. Luckily, he's ended four times. And then I, <laughs> then I died to Phoenix. I actually think if I don't spam laugh there, I get his Phoenix and I win the game. But now that I, since I spam laughed, I didn't get his Phoenix. And this game's going to be so much harder just because I spam laughed. Which is, you know, that's honestly deserved. I will say. I wish someone that would spam laugh me would have this treatment. Is he on that? What, he wasn't even there? He backed while Red was coming up? I could have just done it. What a madman. Oh! 
I missed I missed two abilities. I missed two abilities. He died there. I threw so hard. I actually threw. I threw twice, man! Twice! I threw my spam laughing and then I panicked. Because I, I don't know my abilities. I missed my one. I didn't even know that was possible. The two is forgivable, okay? The two is a skill shot, to be fair. I mean, you get two chances, you know? So I don't know how forgivable it is. But you do get two chances. Now, I don't know if this is the play. We're experimenting at this point because I can't auto him. Maybe with Magi's I can get more autos off, which means I can kill him. We're going to test it. I'm not entirely sure. I would have won the game by now if I didn't spam laugh, and then I would have won the game a second time if I didn't miss two abilities on a Cub Rackin, a massive Guardian. He doesn't even check, man. I want to force him to come over here. Your middle tower has been destroyed. If he pushes the Phoenix, I think I kill his Titan. That's why I said I'm going to force him to come over here. Isn't this what he did last game? Didn't he try to base race too? I guess this is me kind of base racing, but I have Bull Demon, so. Perfect. I felt this Titan because he greeted. I do have Magi's now. Where's he at? I guess he was walking the jungle to try to find me. I didn't even do anything special. I was just there. I mean, not really like in his sight, I guess, but not really out of his sight either. Where is he at? Why is this? I mean, I guess I'm also positioning weirdly, so I can't really say much, but like he's also positioning weirdly. We're both positioning weirdly. Okay, this is the point of the game where I actually just... Okay. See, that's what I mean. He missed 85% of his abilities, but I just can't auto-attack, so it's so hard to try to kill him. Okay, yeah, this is uh, definitely a, a very rough matchup for Sir Get. Like, I can't auto-attack. He missed... He landed 15% of what he casted, and he still all... He traded even with me. To be fair, I don't know if I hit... If it counts the way I'm hitting my abilities. Because technically, I'm not really, like, fully hitting him, you know? None shall survive. Okay. He's tanky, so I think a Titan's Bane is solid here. I'm changing this build so much, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. This is just a rough build, like a rough matchup. He does more damage than me and is tankier than me and can cancel my abilities, which I need to get off. I can cancel his three, but he doesn't need to get the three off. His one and his two are his abilities. I want him to use his ult. He's not using nothing. Okay, if you want to juke that hard, I'm just going to keep walking away. I don't have anything up is the issue. And I, I lose the normal fight, but I have no other option. Oh, he's backdooring. Okay, he backed door. He lost zero HP. Why does I go nowhere?
He's just over juking so hard right now. There we go, he used his damaging abilities. Dude! That's what I mean! I landed everything and he had nothing! And he outtraded me. This matchup is horrendous. The, by the way, when I said that I get really bad niche matchups, this is what I mean. I haven't seen a Kabrak in a single fucking time. I lock Sir Cat and I get this. He doesn't even have his damaging abilities and still outtrades me with no relics or damaging abilities. To be fair, I will add the footnote that I don't know how my passive works. Maybe my passive might be really important, which I think it is, because I know it's percent based HP per poison stack, but I don't know what poison stack means. I mean, I don't really got many options right now. I can't fight him and I can't clear a wave. He hit me with his one there. And it didn't stun me. Why is that? So 